So here's the software, and what we're going to do is we're going to, to start from the beginning as if your client walked in the door, and you're going to set up a new file folder for your client and put in an avatar settings file. So the way we start that is we go to folder selections, and we go to create new folder. And we'll call this uh, Epic Avatar. And that's our file folder, that's our folder name. And we say OK. And in this case, there's already a settings file, so I'm going to say create and select settings. All right, now then we navigate to the settings file folder in avatar. And there it is, settings. Open it up, and I'm going to put in the Z score PZOK plus ROI MS. And I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to bring this down a little bit here. I'll try anyway. There we go. Save and continue. And say OK. All right, now. We are going to, since we don't have anyone hooked up, we're going to bring in a, an already recorded session. And so I'm going to say run the next session and go up to File. And I'm going to, I'm sorry, to Data and to Playback File. And I'll navigate down here to one of my folders. There we go. All right, and now we're running. So the first thing I want to do is this is the EEG that is being recorded. Here are my Z scores. Now remember that this is a combination settings file with both Z scores and we're training the ROI. We are uh, we're um, going to train the posterior. the posterior cingulate, which is uh, ROI 28, and we're going to train that with um, we're going to train beta down uh, in the posterior cingulate. Okay, so let's now look at first of all our Z scores, and we're going to you can see the top box is the Z score box, the lower one is our ROI training screen, and down below that tells us the percentage of reward. Now let me get that set up first. So I'm going to go into Setup, Viewer Change Settings, and into the Event Wizard. I'm going to go to Event 6, and I'm going to change so you can see that it's uh, at ROI 50, and I'm going to put ROI 28, which is the posterior cingulate, and we'll put Band 6, which is High Beta. And I will check Equation, and this looks good. So we are then going to save these settings by saying Use Now and OK. And I exit. All right. Now, in order to get this properly done, in order to use the dampening factor that we're using for training in the ROI, I use the H key. And I hit the H key a couple of times. There we are. Now hopefully you can hear the reward sound. There it is. And now we're going to bring in our Z-scores by adjusting the upper and lower Z-score. We're using the U key first, the Shift U. I'm going to take it down to 0 0.8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. turn that down just a little bit. And I'm going to hit the Shift G key and take it down to 0.8. And now the C key. There we are. It's working. So there you have it. So now we're training 19 channels of Z-scores, full head training. In addition, we are training the posterior cingulate with high beta. And actually, it's being trained up at this point, 
So let me go in and train it so that it's going down. So I go to Viewer Change Settings, into the Event Wizard, and go to Event 6. You see it says X equals Loretta ROA IA 28-6 is greater than. And all that needs to be changed is is less than. Say save settings and close. You have to check equation. Oh, no. nope, I don't. It didn't change the equation. So, now what I'm going to do here is use the H key again <clears throat> and bring up my dampened reward threshold. There's my Z-score reward as well. So I have both things going on. On the one hand, you hear an organ sound that sounds like this. Ah, ah. That is the ROI reward. And then you hear the Z-scores, which are a string reward. So both things are going on at once. Let me do the head map here. Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, hang on a minute. I see. Hang on. Let's go down to voxels. There it is. Now, let me just turn this around here so you can actually see the posterior cingulate. And there it is. So, when it turns red, there's excess high beta. When it turns green, the beta is lowered. Green or blue. So we're looking at the brain now from the bottom, from underneath. This is the back of the brain. Here's the front of the brain. Okay. And there we have it. All right. 